If you're having trouble with tessellation introducing cracks or seams in your models with ProBuilder, here's a little tutorial to help you out with that. So I've created a plane here uh, and added some variation to the height, just so you can see something a little more interesting than a flat plane. And you'll see if we apply the tessellation material, it doesn't look quite right. So I'm using Amplify Shader Editor. They have a great um, set of shaders that ships with it. For examples, um, any other shader with tessellation will probably do something very similar to this. So there are a couple problems here and we'll walk through them step by step. So I'm going to set this back to the default material because it's a little easier to see what's going on and we'll switch back to the tessellation material after I'm done. So right off the bat um, you'll notice that when you move a face um, the lighting between these edges is hard and the way to address that is with normals. So ProBuilder uses smoothing groups. Um, some flip modeling software uses the concept of hardening and soft edges. Um, they do the same thing, just with different methods. Um, the gist is we want all of these uh, green arrows to be um, aligned. So to do that, uh, select all of the faces and put them into the same smoothing group. And so that puts these two in the same smoothing group. And then when ProBuilder runs through and calculates normals, it will average any coincident vertices. So you get a nice smooth surface there. So again, not smooth, smooth. Okay, so that's one problem down. If I apply the material again, selecting all of our faces, it's still not quite right. And that's because this tessellation shader is making use of the UVs. So I'll leave the tessellation shader applied, open up the UV editor. And there's a couple ways you could do this. Um, with ProBuilder, you have this concept of automatic UVs, and you can group them so that they'll be projected together. So if I was to just group the faces together, you can see there they all smushed themselves up against one another, and you have a nice surface with no seams. Um, however, that still will have some little cracks and seams. Um, it's difficult to see with the screen, but there's a little bit of variation there where the seams don't quite match up. Um, so what you could do is select all of these faces, uh, convert them into a manual projection. So this gives you complete control over how UVs are laid out. And I'm just going to weld those. And what that does is it goes through and finds vertices that are very close to one another but not quite on top of another and makes them the same. So alternatively, uh, if we wanted to do this entirely manually, I could just select all of them and do planar project. And that's pretty much the same thing as doing an automatic unwrap. Uh, just this way you're guaranteed that vertices that are stacked on one another will be in the exact same place. So there you go. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'm happy to help out.